with this internet our last channel to connect to the mark no rhetorical questions at last if we lose this frequency we'll be left in the dark after years of secretly monitoring the public, we were astounded so many people would willingly publicize where they live, their religious and political views, an alphabetized list of all their friends, personal email addresses, phone numbers, hundreds of photos of themselves, uh, and even status updates about what they were doing moment to moment. It is truly a dream come true for the CIA. <laughs> What we've been doing is we've been getting a truth era mixture of events going on around the world. Enough truth to uh, make it uh, seem plausible, but enough error to get you off course. A lot of it has to do with our educational systems, uh, where we've been dumbing our kids down. And, uh, and when you dumb them down, it's the cruelest form of censorship. <laughs> Federal Reserve is a privately owned bank. That doesn't make sense. It's called the Federal Reserve. You mean to tell me that they are just throwing the word federal in there to be clever? Yes. The notorious founder of the Rothschild banking family, Mayor Amschel Rothschild, said, Give me control of a nation's money, and I care not who makes her laws. This is a brief history of how the United States of America struggled against the banks and how the banks eventually gained control of the government. What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. And uh, If I understand you correctly, the banks lent me money to buy the house I couldn't afford and use the mortgage I couldn't pay to collateralize bonds they sold to unsuspecting investors. Yes.